Sidebar, Pinky Swear, Keep Your Word. Episode 82 on Kelly Bagla's Go Legal Yourself podcast. Hello, my fantastic friends. It's Kelly Bagler, the Queen of Business Law, and I am bringing you another sidebar. This sidebar today is titled Pinky Swear, How to Keep Your Word. As professionals, one thing that distinguishes us from every other person out there is keeping your word. Remember when You were kids, right? Some of you have to think way, way back. But for some of you that uh, remember when you were kids and you would pinky swear with your best friend, either to share your chocolates with them or either to go and see a movie together or actually just just, uh, play together. Pinky swear meant something back then. Now that we're grown up, we don't actually use the word pinky swear, unless you're me. I've actually been pinky swearing (laughs) with my friends, with my clients, and they love it. They love it. So take a chance. Don't don't be shy and and let your personality shine. Next time you meet a client and you're going to do something for them, pinky swear, pinky swear with them. Keep your word. As an attorney, it's very, very important for me to keep my reputation as credible as possible. You might have heard that attorneys in general are very, very notorious for not returning phone calls, not responding to emails, and it it can be very frustrating. Trust me, I've, I've had some attorneys do that to me too. And guess what happens? They lose my business. And that's exactly what you should be doing. If you're paying for a service, why are you chasing someone? If that's the very first impression that is provided to you, that you have to chase for the service that you're you're paying for, wake up. That's not for you. The world is full of competitors. Go to their competitors. Share this story. This is how people lose business. But going back to keeping your word. When I say to a client that I'm going to get their agreement out by tomorrow before noon, guess what happens? I get my agreement out to them tomorrow by noon. Don't forget, pinky swear is really sacred for all us professionals. And start using it. I'm going to bring that back. You know, it's a, it, it's a fun word, but it really means something. So until next time, dear friends, make sure you do some pinky swearing. Oh, and by the way, I really want you to email me. Email me at kelly at golegalyourself.com and share with me one of your pinky swear stories. I, I would love, love to hear your pinky swear story. Until next time, I am Kelly Bagler, the queen of business law, and you have a fantastic week. Produced by Heard Not Seen Media, visit imaginepodcasting.com for more information.